Aircraft carriers are one of the most sophisticated vessels on the planet. They roam the oceans to conduct various naval tasks while carrying about 5,000 sailors on average. They're not just military bases, they're like small towns floating on the water, housing thousands of crew members on board. These floating cities or towns have the objective to execute multiple operations at sea depending on the circumstances, so it's necessary to have someone qualified enough, someone with the required knowledge and skills to lead these operations and direct the crew members to successful missions, right? It's the captain and that takes this immense responsibility on his shoulders. In this video, we'll talk about the crazy lives of aircraft carrier captains. We'll lay out some key facts about their daily routines and what they do behind closed doors. And who knows, maybe this video can inspire you to become a captain one day. The captain in an aircraft carrier is the commanding officer. He's the one that holds the ultimate authority and accountability for all aspects of the carrier's mission, crew, and equipment. He's basically the boss that commands the ship's sailors. Captain is the name most often given in English-speaking navies to the rank corresponding to command of the larger ships. In the United Kingdom's Royal Navy, a captain might command an aircraft carrier, an amphibious assault ship, or the ice patrol ship, while in the United States Navy, naval aviator and a naval flight officer, captains command American aircraft carriers with the O6 rank of captain. The role of a captain aboard an aircraft carrier can be tough and demanding. It requires a unique blend of leadership skills, strategic thinking, and operational expertise. The captain bears the ultimate responsibility for the safety, efficiency, and effectiveness of the ship and its crew. Each day brings a myriad of duties and responsibilities, beginning with the paramount task of ensuring the overall readiness of the carrier for any mission or contingency. There are many times in a 24-hour day when the captain's training, skill, and judgment are fundamental in safely and effectively conducting the carrier's mission and successfully reaching the Navy's goals. The daily roles of the captain may differ depending on the country that has aircraft carriers in its arsenal. We'll focus on the daily routine of some captains from the US Navy, as these routines are relatively more documented than in other countries. American captains are basically senior naval aviators with about 25 years of experience in naval aviation communities that operate fixed-wing or rotary-wing aircraft from carriers. The qualifications necessary for a captain to assume command of an aircraft carrier are extensive and demanding. A captain seeking such a position typically possesses a wealth of experience gained through multiple deployments on carriers, where they have served in diverse leadership roles. Before being selected for carrier command, captains are required to have served as the commanding officer of a carrier-based aircraft squadron. Additionally, they must have completed rigorous Navy nuclear power training and fulfilled the role of a carrier executive officer. It is essential for carrier captains to have previously commanded a deep draft naval vessel before being considered for assignment to lead an aircraft carrier. This prerequisite ensures that candidates have demonstrated their ability to manage the complexities of naval operations and leadership responsibilities inherent in commanding such a large and strategically vital asset. Modern carriers have about 5,000 personnel embarked when deployed in a combat-ready status. A flag officer is embarked on the carrier as the strike group commander and is responsible for the overall operations of all the ships in the strike group. The carrier captain is responsible for providing the platform, aviation assets and services required to support missions assigned by the strike group commander. He shares this responsibility with the carrier air group commander, who is also a Navy captain with a similar aviation background. The CAG is responsible for leadership of the individual squadrons, which make up the ship's air wing and for execution of the missions those aircraft perform once launched from the carrier. Meanwhile, the ship's captain is responsible for the condition and safety of the ship and for providing most of the material, facilities, and services required to prepare the aircraft and pilots for those missions. He is ultimately the final decision authority for his command. On an aircraft carrier, under the captain's command lies a diverse array of crucial roles, each integral to the smooth operation of the vessel. Department heads oversee specialized areas such as engineering, aviation, navigation, and logistics, ensuring the efficient functioning of their respective departments. Aviation officers coordinate flight deck operations, managing the launch and recovery of aircraft with precision and safety. Below deck, engineers and technicians maintain and repair the carrier's complex machinery and systems, ensuring continuous propulsion and power generation. 
Medical personnel provide essential healthcare services to the crew, tending to injuries and illnesses that may arise during operations. Additionally, administrative staff handle paperwork, logistics, and personnel matters, ensuring the smooth administrative functioning of the ship. Together, these diverse worlds form a cohesive team, working in tandem to uphold the mission readiness and operational effectiveness of the aircraft carrier. The captain leads a cadre of senior naval officers in the operation of the ship. These highly skilled and highly experienced department heads oversee the diverse departments responsible for delivering the products and services essential for accomplishing the ship's missions. As a naval line officer, the commanding officer of a carrier is given broad responsibility for his ship. He is accountable for all aspects of his ship's performance and that of the crew and is given broad authority, commensurate with those responsibilities. He is ultimately the final decision authority for his command. The tradition of a ship's captain bearing extensive responsibilities and holding ultimate accountability traces back to the earlier days of command at sea. During these times, ships and crews operated in relative isolation for extended periods with the captain solely entrusted with ensuring the safety and success of the command. While modern technology now enables closer connection with higher authorities, the captain's duties towards the crew, the vessel, and the mission remain largely unchanged. And did you know that during flight operations, captains have 18 to 20 hour work shifts without sleep? That's what makes this one of the most demanding jobs ever. Carriers never sleep and therefore carrier captains never sleep either. There are so many activities going on during daytime and also during nighttime. Running an aircraft carrier is like trying to solve a never ending puzzle. Each day comes with its own challenges. Moving, assembly and testing of ordnance, purification and storage of fuel, coordination of the flight deck, mission planning, safe navigation of the ship, food preparation and training as well as maintenance of crucial ship and aircraft systems go on around the clock. During flight operations, the captain can normally be found on the bridge, directly involved in the mechanics of positioning and preparing the ship for launch and recovery of aircraft. This is done to ensure the safe navigation of the ship and overseeing flight deck operations. Modern United States Navy aircraft carrier air operations include the operation of fixed-wing and rotary aircraft on and around an aircraft carrier for performance of combat or non-combat missions. Prior to and following flight operations, it is probable that he will engage in discussions with department heads, attend daily briefings alongside the embarked flag officer and the carrier air group, and handle various administrative duties arising from the extensive command structure of the carrier. Due to the continuous and non-stop nature of carrier operations, captains often develop the skill of seizing any opportunity to rest and catch up on sleep whenever they have a few spare minutes available. This means that they adapt to irregular sleep patterns and learn to rest whenever feasible, as their responsibilities demand constant vigilance and readiness, regardless of the time of day or night. These sleeping patterns are similar to that of an airline pilot. Flight operations normally consume 12 hours per day, and additional responsibilities, especially during special evolutions, may consume even more time from the captain. Like we said earlier, sometimes the captain stays awake for more than 18 and even 20 hours in a day. During a special evolution that presents increased risk to the ship, the captain is on the bridge of the aircraft carrier from dusk till dawn. One example of a special evolution that presents an increased risk to the ship is underway replenishment. During UNREP, the ship receives fuel, ammunition, and other necessary supplies from another vessel while both ships are in motion. This operation requires precise coordination between the two vessels and poses risks such as collision, equipment failure, or hazardous material spills. The proximity of two large vessels moving closer to each other amidst potentially rough seas increases the complexity and risk associated with this evolution. Early mornings typically underway replenishments alongside a fleet oiler, navigation from straits, or other areas that restrict the carrier's ability to maneuver and entering or leaving ports are all frequently occurring evolutions requiring the captain's presence on the bridge. This is among the reasons why being a captain is one of the hardest qualifications ever. The relentless nature of carrier operations demands constant vigilance, adaptability, and decision-making under pressure, making it an incredibly demanding role. But even though this job requires a lot of effort and patience, there is no doubt that there is room for fun activities as well, of course. Captains on average have a two-year tour, 
This means that they are overseas for so long, away from their families and friends, and with the constant stress that comes from the nature of this work, we can imagine that all of this combined can take a toll on their mental health. We're still talking about captains from the United States Navy here. So what the USN always have tried to do is provide these 06 officers with enough amenities that can help them perfect their jobs. Let's take the example of the newly designed Gerald R. Ford aircraft carrier and let's see the amenities that it provides for its current captain, Rick Burgess. Now we all know that Gerald R. Ford or USS Gerald R. Ford CBN-78 is a nuclear-powered aircraft carrier and is the biggest carrier ever made, with a whopping $13 billion in total costs. The aircraft carrier comes with quarters that are meticulously designed to meet the multifaceted demands placed upon the captain. These quarters serve as the nerve center of command, embodying the intersection of leadership, functionality, and comfort within the dynamic maritime environment. Positioned strategically within the carrier, these rooms are equipped with state-of-the-art communication systems, enabling seamless coordination with department heads, embarked flag officers, and other key personnel. Beyond their role as a command hub, the captain's quarters provide a haven amidst the relentless rhythm of carrier operations, furnished with amenities aimed at promoting rest and relaxation. These spaces afford the captain moments of reprieve amidst the rigors of naval command, Within these walls, the captain can engage in strategic planning, conduct administrative duties, and foster camaraderie with fellow officers, all while maintaining a keen focus on the ship's mission and operational readiness. And of course, while the role of a captain on an aircraft carrier is predominantly focused on leadership, management, and overseeing operations, they still find time for relaxation and camaraderie within their quarters, like the rest of us. Captains often engage in activities that foster team spirit and relaxation, such as hosting informal gatherings or movie nights for crew members. Additionally, they may enjoy personal hobbies like reading books and newspapers, exercising within the carrier's gyms, or watching sports events on television, such as football or baseball. Some captains also use their quarters for meetings with senior officers or for personnel reflection. These moments of downtime provide essential opportunities for captains to recharge and maintain morale. We dug deep with our research to try and understand what it's like to live in an aircraft carrier as a captain. We found a statement online coming from Captain Doyle Borchers, who commanded the USS Carl Vinson from 1989 to 1992, which is the US Navy's third Nimitz-class supercarrier. During his tenure as the commanding officer of this 95,000-ton aircraft carrier, he experienced two distinct sets of quarters tailored to different environments. While in port, his spacious and meticulously appointed quarters were designed to accommodate dignitaries visiting the ship. They featured a comfortable sleeping area with a double bed along with a dedicated shower and toiletry space. The main cabin boasted a sizable table for entering up to 14 guests, complemented by a private gallery for the cook and assistant. Additionally, a generous lounge area provided ample seating for approximately 20 individuals, ensuring a conducive environment for official engagements. Conversely, his at-sea cabin, where he spent the entirety of their voyages, offered a stark contrast in amenities. Positioned directly behind the bridge atop the ship's island, this austere stateroom was notably smaller in size. Moving from the US to nations like the United Kingdom, France, Russia, and China, aircraft carrier captains may have similar roles. They also have immense responsibility, overseeing the operation of colossal floating airfields that serve as the centerpiece of naval forces. Some navies simply don't have nuclear-powered aircraft carriers like the U.S. Navy, so captains in those countries often helm conventionally powered vessels, which require meticulous attention to fuel efficiency and operational limitations. Furthermore, the cultural and operational nuances inherent in each nation's naval tradition shape the daily life of a captain aboard those carriers. Beyond their operational duties, captains also serve as ambassadors of their respective navies, engaging with foreign dignitaries, participating in international exercises, and conferences like the NATO Steadfast Defender, 24 exercise, and representing their nation's maritime interests on the global stage. Steadfast Defender 24 is NATO's largest military exercise since the Cold War. It demonstrates the unbreakable bond between NATO allies in Europe and North America. We can imagine during these exercises that captains are responsible for coordinating and operating their respective aircraft carriers all day, all night, during these exercises. The job of a captain aboard a nuclear-powered aircraft carrier is a monumental undertaking 
that demands unparalleled leadership, expertise, and dedication. It requires a unique blend of technical proficiency, strategic vision, and interpersonal skills to navigate the challenges of commanding such a formidable vessel. Despite the immense pressure and responsibility, a captain's unwavering commitment to duty and service ensures the continued success and excellence of their command. We hope you found this video helpful and entertaining. Thank you all for watching. Please leave a like, subscribe to the channel, and comment any thoughts you have on the topic in the comment section below.